Hi. Today I want to talk about a topic that, at least for me, it's not really discussed. But I think uh, what's for sure is that there is a lot of confusion around this topic, which is solitude against loneliness. Uh, I was just checking if there was someone there because, you know, I don't want anyone to interrupt me. All right, let's start by giving some general definitions. Loneliness is a negative state of mind marked by the sense of isolation. Don't worry, bro, I got you. Always here for you, you know. Always here. When I, I knew it. So, sorry, well, one moment. Didn't we already talk about that? When I make a video, I don't want you to disturb me. You have your time to make the videos. And it's your fault if you didn't post a video last week, okay? I post my vlog and you didn't post anything funny. I don't care if you didn't come out. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry. Sorry okay. if I'm bad at Okay, so we have the definition of loneliness and about solitude. Solitude is basically being alone without feeling lonely. I know, it's still really confusing. So stick with me. If you take a look at your memories, it might be clearer. For example, those late nights in which you kept walking in those desert streets. Excuse me, uh, what do you mean by desert streets? Is, uh, are they like streets on the desert? Or it's like desert streets? Like the streets in which you can eat a dessert. Oh, why? Why are you taking notes? You see, as a co-worker, like, I think what? it's important to help you understand where you can do better. And I'm just kidding. I just wanted to be in the video. Why did I even think about... Oh. Alright, all right. you're ready in the video, so... Can I continue with my speech? Alright. What was... Um... What was I talking about? Oh, Lenai, Lenai. Thank you. And so, desert street. Um, late nights huh? in desert streets. Lay nights in desert streets. Those I'm fine. You just told to your friends because you wanted to stay by yourself. Those sunset and sunrises you missed, but you wanted to see so badly, but you don't really know why. We have, we all have those moments, but in a different way. And we have those moments where we want to stay alone. But for no particular reason. We just want some time for ourselves. Uh, oh why, my god. Why are you crying? Tell me. You're just, you're just so profound. And people don't even know. People don't even know you. you but you're so good. Probably because you suck as an entertainer. You see, H, especially now, in the social media era, when we are literally bombarding each other with news, infos, photos, and booty pics, and all stuff like that, it might be true that my content would appear really boring. But for the ones who will stick to me and have the patience to follow my growth, I think they will surely learn something. <laughs> As I was saying, in a few words, we're unconsciously tired, but we don't really get it. We're not aware of it. That's because, in my opinion, we are way too distracted by mainly the social medias, which means mainly by your phone, because it's a device that it really, it's really simple to use, like it's in your pocket, and you take it off, you know, two clicks, and you can literally see whatever you want, and that's really, really destructive. And because of that, we're actually getting more and more uncomfortable in those moments of nothing, in those empty moments in which we want to be by ourselves and we want to be alone. Which, just to be clear, are necessary for ourselves to heal. 
Do you ever feel like you're really stressed by your relationships, by the things that are going in your life, and you just want to go out and take a really long walk by yourself? And then when you come back, you kind of feel refreshed because you have spent some time with yourself. You have given yourself the time for yourself to heal up. And, you know, and it's really rare in today's society to see actual teenagers, and not only teenagers, but I think mainly teenagers who actually embrace this boredom whenever they have nothing to do. Because it's much easier nowadays to, you know, to not use our imagination, to not even think, to just distract yourself from your phone. Like, all right, I'm not saying that it's always bad. Sometimes it's okay to shut off our brain and, you know, have a little fun. But the more we're getting into this society that I would call the distracted 21st century, the more we're getting into this kind of, you know, instant gratification stuff and build our life on something that social media is called the best life you can ever have. It's like, it's like building our expectations on a higher level so that we get used to that high level of lifestyle and we tend to get depressed about that. And not only because we always tend to compare ourselves to others. And that's where loneliness comes in. That's where you feel like you're not part of this society where all people are successful, they are all having the best moments of their life. So you feel isolated. You feel like you're not part of this place. So you want to at least fake it so they accept you. And it's not only that. It's because it's on one side, it's because we are getting the wrong expectations from our lives. And on the other side, it's because our brain don't like distractions. Now, have you ever feel like going inside a state of mind, which is called the flow, is a state of mind in which it may be happened to you when you were playing video games or maybe reading or maybe watching a film in which you were completely immersed, deeply immersed in the thing you were doing. So immersed that you couldn't even realize what was happening around you. That moment is one of the moments in which you are the most focused. And those moments are the complete opposite of being distracted. Just, just let me tell you. Now, this is now obviously this video is not about distractions. It's about solitude and loneliness. So it's like saying I don't need solitude to understand what I want to do in my life and to heal myself up every day. And on the other side, I want to constantly distract myself with useless infos and booty pics. Is that Can right? Can you please? Wait, that's actually right. Yeah. You're sure. Man, she got a fat ass. Hey, hey, look nah, at this. Never mind. He was right. So instead of what H said, we should say, or at least I would say in right now, in this moment of my life, that I don't want to keep playing the victim of my life. I'm aware that I am able to change my life in better. I'm aware of the fact that those distractions are not needed to make my life better. If you think about it, it's true. Like, is this thing really going to make me learn something new? Well, maybe yes, but is this going to be useful in my life? No, yes. I don't need to know what the Kardashians are doing because even if I know, it won't change my life. I won't let anyone take my solitude moments away from me. Not even my phone. 
because those moments, as I said before, needs to heal you up. And just to wrap it up, for those who still don't get it, obviously, this is my opinion. Solitude is not loneliness. Solitude is something that we need. It's something that is necessary for ourselves to survive, to keep going in life, to find your truth. You know, you choose. You choose the phrase. Loneliness is a negative state of mind. It's basically feeling lonely, feeling um, not accepted. It's something that makes you sad, makes you depressed. It's something that gives you bad vibes, I would say. And with this, I have ended my speech. H, like, like and subscribe. Oh okay. my God. You will, not be, you will not be making another video this week. I, I don't Wait, care. What? Like, no. you don't even know the basics. That, that's, like, that's are you supposed to even make YouTube videos? You told me to tell this hey, at the, the end of up, every man. video. You told me to tell this at the end of every video. You can't. I need to show how funny I am.